Guys, y'all are really crazy, huh? Y'all are really crazy out there. I can't even believe I got to make this video right now. I wasn't planning on coming out with the second video today. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, what? I really got to make this video right now. This is ridiculous, okay? So to get you caught up on speed, if you haven't been following along, y'all are crazy, okay? Two hours and 20 minutes ago, I put out a video on my main channel called why I just put $30,000 in this oil tanker stock, okay? I put this video out after the market closes. Keep in mind, the market closes in Vegas at 1 p.m. So I'm kind of like paranoid about like maybe potentially moving stock prices if I come out with a video like that during the trading day. So I'm like, I'll come out with it after hours. So, so nothing crazy is gonna happen, okay? And the video takes off. I mean, it's my second best video out of the last 10 videos I released on the main channel. I'm super surprised. I mean, it's got views pouring in left and right. I'm like, I didn't expect it to do that well. And y'all are really crazy. Look at NAT stock. That's the stock I talk about in that video. It's up 11% after hours for absolutely no reason. I mean, absolutely zero reason other than this YouTuber guy I had a video come out right after the market closed and, and the video's getting a ridiculous amount of views. And I just checked on NAT stock and, and in terms of after hours volume, we're talking about over 2 million shares have traded hands after hours. Oh my goodness, like this is this is beyond ridiculous, okay? Beyond ridiculous. The stock's just flying up. Anybody that thinks it's the, the Federal Reserve is buying it. I'm starting to think, hey, maybe, maybe Jerome Powell, he's got those printers going. He's like, NAT stock, NAT stock, we gotta buy, buy, buy. I mean, this is this is absolutely crazy. But you know, as funny as this can be, and all the jokes we can make about this. This is a problem, okay? I want to explain this, okay? We gotta, we gotta seriously have a sit down here. We gotta talk about this, okay? There's two problems with this, and uh, let me explain why, okay? So you know what your mom would always say? She said, if your friends would jump off a bridge, would you? You know, you guys probably would, okay? Number one issue, okay? Number one issue. First off, if NAT stock starts to go down, okay? Uh, I, I can guarantee you a lot of people have just bought this stock because I came out with the video, I bought the stock, and, and a bunch of people are like, oh, you know, Robin Hood app, boop, 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 I gotta buy this stock, gotta buy this stock. What happens if the stock starts going down? What are you gonna do? Like, like you know, you, if you don't even know this company, you haven't researched it, which I can guarantee you, most people that watch that video have never heard of this company in their life. And there's no way they magically read through all the reports and read into this company super in depth other than what I've shared in that video. There's no way that happened. And yet they bought, they're, you know, a ton of people are buying the stock. And here we are in a situation, what if this stock goes down? Like, how are you going to handle that? Like, you, you, this is where people lose money because what ends up happening, they get in an investment that they have no clue what's going on, especially stocks that are volatile and they go up and they go down. They're all around, right? And so what happens? I don't know. I don't think the stock will go down, but what happens if it goes down? Like, what are you going to do? You're probably going to end up making bad decisions. You'll either probably end up buying a bunch more when maybe you shouldn't, or you'll be in a situation where you'll sell off at a really bad price. This happens to a lot of people when, when in any investment because they don't know what the heck they're doing. And, and to just be buying a stock because I'm buying a stock is absolutely ridiculous. I bet you most of these people that have bought NAT stock after hours here, after they watch my video, have never even been to the company's website. They've never even been to Nordic American Tankers website. I can almost guarantee you that, but they're buying the stock. I bet you any money, these people haven't been going through the 10K, the 20F, they haven't been doing that. They, they, you think they've been through 181 pages? And I know some of you guys are watching this video right now. I bet you, you haven't read through that 181 pages magically and put in an after hours order, okay? 181 page report? Did you even read the risk factor? section where it says the company can go to zero. Okay, maybe it doesn't say that, but hey, in, in some different terms, it might say that, okay? I bet a lot of you guys haven't read through some of these risk factors, like the one that they could uh, incur a lot of substantial cost due to a new fuel they're going to have to start using. I bet you guys haven't read that. You gone down to page 27 yet and, and read the, where they say, you know, the company could go to zero dollars. You could lose everything if no one wants to store oil anymore. You read that? You know, they say right here, you like zero dollars in your brokerage account. Do you? Do you? You like zero dollars in your brokerage account? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe page 27 didn't have any text on it. Maybe I added a little something there, okay? But seriously, hey, it could happen. You never really know, okay? You read this risk factor section where it says if the United States Internal Revenue Service were to treat us as a passive foreign investment company, that could have adverse tax consequences for United States shareholders. 
Did anybody really read that before they went ahead and started buying the stock after hours? I don't think so, okay? Did anybody see in that report the fact that the company lost money last year? Yeah, sure, they're gonna probably make a profit this year and a ridiculously huge profit, but that's beside the point. Did you see that last year they lost money? I bet you, you didn't, okay? Don't be clueless, okay? Read through these reports before you buy any stock. Make sure you understand the business on a very high level before you buy any stock. Just because I put a, a, a video that's 15 or 20 minutes together, I, there's no way I could have covered everything you need to know about that stock in a 15, 20 minute video, okay? These reports are 100 pages, 200 pages. Don't be clueless about this stuff, guys. Be informed, be smart, okay? Be informed and be smart about this, okay? Be like the Wall Street Bets community, okay? Super, super smart community, okay? These guys over there are special, okay? They're like, you ever seen the movie Rain Man? They're like that guy from Rain Man, okay? And uh, no, no, not, not Tom Cruise. I I'm thinking about the other guy, Dustin Hoffman, okay? They're like, you know, that Rain Man, uh, you kind of mixed together with the guy from The Hangover and uh, no, not Stu, not Phil, I'm thinking, oh, that one, okay? That's kind of what they're like, okay? Super smart community, okay? I'm just, just, just joking. Don't get offended, little Wall Street bet people, okay? Reason number two. Okay, reason number two, I don't want the SEC coming after me. Okay, the SEC is serious. Okay, you don't play with the SEC, you don't play with the SEC, you don't play with the IRS. Okay, I don't want to have to call Elon Musk for help. You hear me? I don't want you know, he's dealt with them enough. I don't want to have to be like, Elon, come help me, man. The SEC is coming after me. Okay, we know what Elon says, he has no respect for the SEC. I want to be very clear. SEC, I have a lot of respect for you, okay? Elon Musk might not, but I have a lot of respect for you guys, okay? And I don't want to get rid of $20 million. Okay, I'm going to try and get no $20 million fine. But seriously, what if the United States just like shut down Jeremy? He's moving stock prices, you know? We can't have that. Shut them down, okay? What's going to happen? The IRS is going to be like, hey, man, we love Jeremy. He cuts us so many checks, it's getting ridiculous. Like, he's the only reason the country still got the lights on. And then you know what's going to end up happening? SEC and the IRS are going to go to fight, man. They're going to go to war. They're going to be fighting out. Boom, 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 boom. That's not going to be, that's not going to be a good situation. Does anybody want to see the SEC? And the IRS actually in a fight? All right, smash the thumbs up button if you want to see that, okay? Let's get serious for a moment though, okay? What if, what if the SEC, you know, see, sees the fact that it's not just going to be me. What if it's other YouTubers that come down the road, other big YouTubers that build huge stock market channels and things like that? What if they're moving stock prices? You know, what happens if eventually it just gets to be this big thing and, and the SEC's like, no more, no more stock market videos? Or they put clamps on, they say something like, you can't talk about a stock unless it has at least a $1 billion market cap. Or you can't talk about a stock unless it has at least a $10 billion market cap. Or you can't talk about a stock unless it has a $100 billion market cap. Like, like what if something like that happened? Now, you know, we could push back against that and say that might be an infringement on freedom of speech. You might not be allowed to do that. I mean, if you're at SEC, because, you know, it's freedom of speech. I'm talking about what stock I want to buy. I'm not telling anybody, you know, you go buy that stock. I'm telling, I'm saying what I, what stock I'm buying. That's a freedom of speech. I can say that. I could put that on YouTube. I could put that on the internet in general. And it's a freedom of speech, but who knows? You never really know. Sometimes, you know, these, these things are, are, you know, pushed against. What if you have to go through some, what if they put in some place, some system where you have to go through like an application process to even be allowed to talk about a stock or something like that. Well, imagine how much of a pain in the butt that was. Imagine if you, and it takes like weeks or months or you might not even like, like get past the application process where you're like, I want to talk about this stock because blah, blah, blah. And it has to be approved before you ever do it. Kind of like Elon Musk. If he, if he, you know, uh, is supposed to send certain tweets, he has to like get it approved before it like goes out or something. What if they put something like that in place, okay? That would just be, you know, a crappy, crappy situation, okay? Who knows if that would ever happen, but it is a risk and, and we kind of don't want to draw that type of attention to the stock market community where it's like, you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's bad if you make a video talking about a stock you bought. That would be, you know, really detrimental. I know a lot of you guys really enjoy that type of content. Uh, so we can't have that type of stuff happening. But, you know, if stock prices are moving huge, you know, it's going to put a lot more focus on the possibility that something could happen, okay? 
That's what we'll end up doing because like I said, there's gonna be people that, uh, you know, who knows how long I'll do YouTube. Maybe I do it for a few more years. Maybe I still do it in five or 10 years. Maybe I still do it in 20 years, who knows? But I can tell you after me, there's gonna probably be other big YouTubers that will come up in the game and they'll talk stocks. And if they're moving stock prices, like, like who knows? You know, you know what I mean? Like you just, you gotta kinda like think about this and kinda respect all these things, okay? So at the end of the day, don't, don't buy a stock just because I'm buying it, okay? Don't buy a stock just because I'm buying it, you know? Whether it's Tesla stock or, or Facebook or Skyworks or Cirrus Logic or some of those that have had success. What if it's a CCL, man? CCL, that sinking ship. You know what I mean? Like, you never really know. Yeah, I can tell you I'm not 100% perfect when it comes to picking stocks. I pick a lot of winners, heck yeah. I make a lot of money, but you know what? I've made some mistakes, believe me. I've made some mistakes. So, you know, you, you just gotta, you know, do your own research out there. Don't just count on me that I'm buying a stock and you're like, ooh, I gotta buy this stock. It's, it's an issue and, and I know this is an ongoing issue. You know how I know? Go to the Robinhood app and look at, look at one of my stocks and then go and look at the other like recommended stocks or the stocks that other people view based upon those stocks. It's my whole damn portfolio. It's my whole damn portfolio. That is ridiculous, okay? People have, I don't use the Robinhood app, but people have shown me like videos before and essentially they'll type in a ticker symbol like a Skyworks Solutions and then under like recommended stocks or you know, stocks that other people hold or view based upon that, it'll come up like Cirrus Logic, Facebook, Tesla stock, Uber stock, like Revolve stock, like all these stocks I own and it's like, like, like this, is a, this is a big issue, this is ongoing and uh, Guys, do your own research, find your own stocks. There's, there's thousands of stocks in the stock market. The ones I buy aren't the only stocks out there. Do your own research, learn how to fish for yourself, and uh, you know, you're probably gonna make a lot of money in this game over the next five, 10 years, but learn how to do it yourself. Believe me, that's the best way to do it. I've never counted on somebody for my stock picks before. I might hear a position, I might be in the Discord chat and the private stock group and like hear somebody mention a position, then I'll start looking into it fully. I don't ever buy that stock till I fully looked into it. And that's the way you should treat it as well. If I mention a stock on here or somebody else mentions a stock out there, you should say, okay, let me look into that. Ah, I don't really like that stock. I'm not gonna buy that. That's not the one for me. Or you fully look into it and, and they happen to mention, you're like, I love that stock. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Fair game on that. But the activity like this, it's clear. It's clear. That's not the situation. People are like, he bought this stock. I'm buying that stock. It's ridiculous, guys. So anyways, it's, it's funny and stuff like that. But in all seriousness, do your own research out there. Uh, it's going to pay off way better long term. Thank you for watching and have a great day.